Hey guys, it is actually Sunday, August 12th, and this is the absolute tail end of our vacation. I am going to be so sad to see vacation end on Tuesday. Jay's gone golfing. I've just been putzing in the motorhome, doing some skincare, just, you know, reflecting on the vacation. I've actually edited my Bar Harbor vlog number two, which you'll see before you see this video. We really had a great time. This was I think unseasonably hot weather or humid weather I should say for the Bar Harbor area at least all the times that we've come up here I usually pack clothes more for colder weather meaning so I can be warmer especially at night than for warmer weather and this time the weather has been more warm than cool so I could have used a few more t-shirts <laughs> instead of sweatshirts but that's what I did we've had an absolutely fantastic vacation we only have two days left and that is always so sad to see the wind down of vacation it really is we have already reserved for next year so we'll be back in our same spot for 10 days next year one thing that I had more of a challenge with this year is my hair and I think, you know, mainly most days I've worn my hair up because styling my hair, it's longer. As you can see, I've let it grow out a little and be a challenge, especially in hot, humid weather. And I don't have my hot rollers with me. You know, I have some Velcro curlers, I have my curling iron, but none of that is really going to much matter. So one thing that I talked about getting, and I, I did receive this free from the Octoline Network, and I was really looking forward to trying this out. This is not the official review because I want to really give this a, a, a better, you know, a, a longer try. But anyways, I thought, well, maybe this would be perfect in this type of weather, in these conditions to use this product. And this is the Caviar Resort Sea Tussled Texture Spray that Mala Robinson had raved about. Now, Mala has short, layered, very textured, thick hair. I think this is probably going to be fantastic for someone with short, textured, thick hair. I think with longer, straighter, fine hair like mine, it might be a little bit more difficult. But what I did is I sprayed it on my roots, just like the direction said, and I let it tussle dry. And so when I let it tussle dry, I realized I still needed to have some more oomph in my hair. So I threw a couple of Velcro curlers in, I did some spray at home. Normally I use hot spray, hot, hot shots on my hair when I curl it, and I really like that. I put the Velcro curlers in and then I tussled my hair up and I thought it did pretty good as far as giving me a little bit of lift and, you know, sort of more of a tussled look like, you know, not super styled. You know, when you're on vacation, it's kind of hard to really walk around with like perfectly groomed hair. At least it is for me. So that's what I put in. I'm really, I'm really enjoying that. I also to kind of tested out a couple of the cotton rounds I've been using. Everyone has really raved about the Swispers. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So I kind of have been using them, but it really kills me to pay that kind of money for a little package of rounds that I'm going to toss you know, and not get a whole lot of use out of. So I tried a couple of other brands. I'm gonna insert that clip in a few moments. So I thought I'd just share with you my thoughts on some of these wipes. Of course, this is the most popular, the Whispers, Whispers. They have a really soft side on one side, very small, tight exfoliation on the other side. This is my last one. They are pricey. So, you know, it's sort of like, geez, you know, do you want to spend this kind of money for something you're going to throw away? So I've always been like, okay, let me try something else. So I bought these Berkeley Jensen cotton rounds, and they are just simply cotton rounds. They are really not at all exfoliating um, whatsoever, and not that they're claiming that. They're just, they're just cotton rounds, but these things fall apart like crazy. So like you would be using, at least me, I'd be using like two or three of these on my eyes alone, never mind anything else. And then I decided I was going to try the Equate Premium Exfoliating Cotton Rounds because this is certainly a lot more reasonable and they're exfoliating than these whispers. And this is what this looks like. Whoops, wait a minute. It's this one. So you have a softer side and then you have the exfoliating side. The exfoliating side is much softer than this one from the Whispers. 
is that whispers whispers whatever this is a much softer one but it's not bad it holds up it doesn't fall apart as readily like this guy does you know it isn't as nice as this does it do the trick yes you can get some gentle exfoliation with that and then you have the softer side. What I have been loving a lot is I bought this at Sam's Club. And this is their makeup remover cleansing towelettes. I really, I was very, very pleased with it. Because it is, let me just try to, it doesn't break apart. It's like really strong and sturdy. You can rinse this and you can use this a couple of times when you're trying to get your face, you know, the makeup off, like when I've been trying to remove my sunblock and whatnot. I've, I've used this and I've rinsed it a couple of times, put different soaps on it. It's really good. It's disposable, but it holds up. It doesn't rip apart like some of the other wipes do when you're trying to take your makeup off. They rip apart and they're like real skimpy little things. I really am enjoying this. We are still camping. I'll show you out my window. The tide has come in. I woke up early this morning, Jane went golfing, and it was low, 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 low tide out there. And the tide is, um, it's going to come in a little bit more. You can see where the seaweed is there. So it's almost a high tide, but not quite yet. So I thought I would just share this with you because, you know, if you're like me, out and about camping, trying to do your skincare, see what would work, you might find this interesting. So the Equate definitely are close, but not as good. But they're a heck of a lot cheaper than these, but not as good. The Berkeley Jensen, forget about it. You might as well just use a tissue. But this one that I picked up at Sam's Club, the makeup remover, towelettes, really nice, really nice product. Yeah. So other than... You know, that, checking out things with my hair, most of my clips that you've seen, my hair's been up, which is what I've been wearing it in, either in a bun or back in a ponytail, just for the comfort of the weather here. My skincare on vacation, it's been a challenge with sunblock. Because I've used so much excessive sunblock and I layered my sunblock continuously throughout the day, at the end of the day, taking it off, it was like blue on my skin. Most of the time I use the Australian Gold 50 SPF. The I really like that a lot all over my face. I used that when I didn't really need to have any other foundation on. I was just sitting in the yard. It gave me the 50 SPF. If I was going out, I used the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor 50 SPF tinted. I, I thought that was really good coverage. It went on really well. And when I had a full day out, a couple of hours later, I would apply my Australian Gold on top of it, and then a couple of hours after that on top of it. So by the time I got home at night, my skin was totally caked full of sunblock. I, I was really worried that my pores were going to get, you know, filled up and get icky, and I did have a slight, Jay hates it when I talk about breakouts, but I did get a few slight little zitty things. Um, probably from from the, the excessive sunblock because they use three different types of sunblock all the time one was a 70 SPF uh, Neutrogena put that on and um, and that was clear but still you know it's product after product after product I really felt I needed to let my skin breathe so at night when I took it off I would take my makeup off super early you know my sunblock off as soon as the sun went down and I just wanted to let my skin breathe and I would use those towelettes and then I would use my CeraVe, CeraVe and I would exfoliate my skin in the morning I I did my you know, my Studio 35, I, I put that on. I did everything I could to exfoliate my skin gently while away. I also did a lot of face masks. And um, I think overall, I mean, I got some color, but I did not get any burns. So there was no, no sunburns, um, no, nothing like that at all. So uh, that to me was really good. I'm sitting inside my motorhome filming this. I would have taken you outside, but there's a number of people walking around the rocks. It's it's um, it's that time of day, and I didn't want to sit out there trying to film a video with all the distraction. So, survived vacation skincare always always a challenge. I found myself using 
the same products almost every day. The only thing I did different every day was I used a different lippy, the Lanacombe lippies that I got, the throwback lippies that I had talked about in the previous videos. I use those every day and um, I really, really like that a lot. So the Caviar Resort Sea Tussled Textured Spray by Alterna. I think, especially if you hear a shot of, like I said earlier, would work super, super well. I actually like the amount of texture I'm feeling in my hair. Um, and you know, I think that it's giving me the texture, but it's giving me the ability to run my fingers through the hair and it ha there's no stiffness. So I know Jay would like that. He would like running his fingers through my hair with this stuff. This was sent to me free from the Octoly Network from the company in exchange for my honest review. And it's too soon for me 100% to know for sure, but on the times I've used it on my vacation, which has only been twice, I like it. I think though, if you are going to expect a va vum va vum and you have hair like mine, you're going to have to work to get that. Shorter, layered cuts, I think this would be awesome, awesome, awesome for it. So um, that's about it for me today. Thanks so much for watching my video. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. And I would truly appreciate every single one of you. Jay and I waiting together, lots of togetherness here. For the island shuttle right babe of course of course see what i get new earbuds i thought this was amazing this is actually a pug ugly and i thought of my niece who lost her poor gus and yeah whale poop my friend mike all the way protein Eggs are delicious. Mine is still good. I just think it's a treat. You were looking at the camera here. What are you going to get now? Yummy. What are you going to get? I'm going to get some vanilla. You don't want to try anything else? You don't want to try anything else? And Jay just forced me into having this ice cream. So the dilemma was, what type of a cone did I want to get? What I'm eating. Being bad. Definitely need to take advantage of this. Which one? Casino Royal. Oh. That's what I told everyone with my boat. I said we are the so we can come see our boat. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy ice cream. Is that the one you and Bill were arguing about? Yep. How's your ice cream, babe? Delicious. This is not on my diet. But I've been good most of vacation, almost all of vacation. So you might as well have a um, bad day. Treat day. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, I had to take a few selfies with my honey. I absolutely love visiting this park in downtown Bar Harbor. It is so pretty, overlooking the harbor, beautiful flowers, so peaceful. I wish you could smell the salt water, and I wish you could have felt the feeling of peace. We have had dinner in the restaurant, the Bar Harbor Inn over there once. It was delicious, pricey, but worth the splurge. And you can't beat the location, just perfect. So we're going for our walk along the shore path. It's really, really a nice little shore path. And it's 
runs along the water. The other side is Bar Harbor downtown where all the mansions are. We're actually trying to walk off those ice cream cones. I don't think it's going to happen readily. This is just a really nice path. We walked this a couple of times a season. And last year, I filmed it when it was raining. And even in the rain, it's picture perfect out here on this little path and this little park that they have and, you know, places to have picnic. And this kind of lines a lot of the mansions or older, older established homes in the harbor. <laughs> Jay just took a picture of me in his expensive camera. He goes, it's Uncle Doc. I said, you mean you can't lighten that right up? Of course, somebody had to be working in their yard, trimming their hedges or their lawn or whatever. But the noise was a little bit annoying, but it didn't diminish the pleasure of this beautiful ocean walk. And I wanted to catch up and goose Jay, but I didn't.